Hello everyone. Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. We are going to paint some snow friends. <laughs> These are snow friends. Um, we are going to just paint them in here and just fun, easy, simple stuff. I'm going to put you right there. I'm going to get you up over here so I can see comments while I'm painting. Okay, that'll work. All right, so um, I've got my mixed media tablet here is what I'm painting on this evening. And I'm just gonna use a few brushes, probably a half inch flat. <clears throat> um, if I can find it. A half inch flat, probably. Uh, maybe the round and the liner brush. All right. So we're going to, y'all say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's on. I cannot tell if you're on here, if you do not say hello, that's always fun. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm just painting just some fun little snowman friends on a mixed media tablet. This is really good for practice. If you if you need practice and you know you just want to paint for fun, this is a good um, thing to paint on. It it saves you from using a lot of your uh, the canvas and stuff. Is you know that can run into some expense. You do just want to you know practice, get some stuff going on. This is good. We all got to practice. Need practice. I mean, because you can always improve. Right? And you can make his, you know, him have a hat. You can make him have scarves. You can make, there's a little strip of color on there. I'm not sure how this is going to work out on the thing with snowman we'll see I do I'm gonna do a little bit of black white a little bit of blue for my gray give him a little darker face down here in the corner add a little bit of white or a little bit of water get that moving Sometimes the tablet is um, a little, a little more difficult than painting on canvas because you can't blend and stuff like you can when you're on canvas. But it's still, still fun to. And I've drawn on here with. Um, chalk so that's going to move around a little bit so I've done a little darker around the outside edge down here with a gray color just getting that I'm trying to cover up my pencil mark chalk mark a little bit of a dark color then as I'm coming in I get lighter as I went over on this side let me do it a little bit darker on the bottom is fine and that little guy there in the back, he's just peeking through, isn't he? Do a little orange for his nose. Got some cool stuff coming up in the studio. I've got stuff online and in the studio if you guys are interested in that. Got some local stuff, and for those of you that are on here on the page or on YouTube and you want to paint online, there's this, and then there's my website, so don't forget about that. Alright, so there's that one. 
I'm gonna go over here, do the same thing to this little guy. I'm gonna darken this side of his face. Just get that side a little darker. I think I'm gonna put him a little scarf down at the bottom. Getting that contrast between the two snowmen going there because he's in shadow in the back, right there. And then I'll have to get a little bit more white. And this one would be cute. You could do, um, like, write something up there on top of it. You could do, you know... Snow friends, snowman friends. Um, making friends. Winter friends. Whatever you like. That's fun, isn't it? To um, personalize your stuff a little bit. Kind of, I don't know if it's personalize it, I guess, but to put some, um, gosh, I drew his eyes a little crazy. Um, we can do a little, um, a little scarf. What color you want to do? This one I did in my green hat. I, I think I would like to do a little bit of a scarf showing right there. I don't know. Make a little. Just for some color and then his hat over there do a little bit of green And then on this one, his dark shadow side is down here, bottom. So there's his shadow side. So you got dark, middle tone, light, dark, middle tone, light, dark, middle tone, light. That's how you make them look. Like they have dimension. And you can come in with a little bit more white on this side if it gets too dark. Which these won't because they're... paper. I 
It's always good to kind of like make something just a little bit different. That was all straight across. Well, I don't know why I pointed over there. This was all straight across uh, his face. It just went straight across. So I'm just kind of going to bring this down a little bit to make it look like it's just coming down over his face a little bit. Right there. And then... sticks out a little bit. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the green and the yellow. Add a little bit of white to my green and yellow. It's coming along. Some of this paint's been on here for a little while. Then I'm going to do orange for his nose. Oh, that's fun. That one was a fun one. Sometimes. Alright. Sometimes the nose is a little difficult. Hey, Nancy. Jessica. Oh, your favorite snowman creator. Oh, I can create a bunch of snowmen, that's for sure. I've got them sketched all over my, my sketch pads. They're crazy. It's crazy how I just do that all the time. I have so many cool ideas. Y'all stick around. Hey, Tammy. Hello. Hello, everyone. Yeah, I love snowmen. I uh, get an idea in my head, and I, um, I just, I don't know. I just sketch them out, and then I paint them. That's how I, I usually do. This uh, is a pretty easy design. I've done this one several times but um i got a lot of new ones just doing a little bit of dark underneath the nose giving it a little bit of dimension there just a little a little bit And then you can go back up with some orange, pure orange, yellow, and just orange, and get the top. Keep that top brighter. All right, then we're going to go into the eyes. Let's do the eyes. Little brush, some black. I don't paint with pure black a lot. I do some on these. Um, it's just black is a really harsh color be be careful with black it's uh it's good to mix black i got that eyeball over there i'm gonna move it um it's good to mix black with a little bit of purple a little bit of blue or something and and not to use it full strength when you're painting with it it just has a tendency just to be so so harsh. Just be careful with it. And you can mix your black. You know, you can mix black, brown, and um, burn umber, brown, um, and blue, ultramarine blue. <clears throat> he's all squished <laughs> in the middle there he's squished so. that's 
bunny. All right, doing my little, do some little cheek action here, a little bit of cheeks. Paper towel. Oops. Rub this off a little bit. Do a little. Start in the middle. That one I didn't. That one I started kind of. Start in the middle and go out. Start in the middle. Go out. Make your circle. Dab almost. You're dabbing most of your paint off on your paper towel. Start in the middle. Go out. Light touch. Round circles. This one I did. I did a little bit too much, but that's okay. I'm not gonna try to fix it on a piece of paper. Um, Little bit of white, little bit of black for the eyes. Little dot. He's looking down, he's looking over, and he's looking over that way. Well, kind of down. <laughs> All right. Then, we'll do a little bit of snow. Oh, let's do some. You gotta do the eyebrows, right? Get rid of that third eye for this guy. All right, then I just take my brush, go into some white paint, tap it off, um, tap it off either on your paper towel or on your plate, and then, then you can just drag across, push down a little bit, drag across, push down a little bit. Um, might have some on their nose, right? How about that? Pretty fun little, little snowman painting, isn't it? And um, like I said, uh, you, if you do something and you and you leave a little space, you can have room there to write on. If you do like a, a a long piece of wood like that, if it was you know for somebody to hang outside, you could put like the Smiths or uh, let it snow or something. Lots of different things that you can do for that. So, but there that is. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Thank you, thank you. He was, or they were, or he was, um, they were pretty fun, easy, something quick that you can do uh, in a hurry. Not, um, not a time-consuming painting. Um, and you can do them on, um, you know, slate, wood, canvas, um, lots of different things, and you can end up with a really cute, uh, painting for, um, to give as a gift, or, you know, whatever, so there they are, little happy snowmen, little friends, <laughs> little friends, this guy, his head might be cold, he might need a little hat too, right? 
All right. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys jumping on here and painting with me uh, or watching. Um, that's always fun. Thank you, guys, so much for that. And, um, yeah, grab some brushes. I, just a few colors of paint. I didn't use much paint at all on this. See, what did I use? Uh, just some black white a little bit of blue for my gray i use black and red for his hat some orange uh green brown so i mean i used one two three four five five or six colors so not a whole lot and um just two brushes i think so ended up with a really cute painting uh on a mixed media tablet so you can paint uh, pretty easily and quickly and um, come up with something really cute and you don't have to put a whole lot of um, money into it a lot of paint into it you can mix your colors um, you don't have to even um, you know you can do you can make your orange out of red and yellow and uh, things like that so uh, don't go you don't have to go out and buy every color in the rainbow uh, you can mix your colors and come up with some really cute um, paintings. So try that. Practice that. It's um, it's good to do that. Uh, learn to, to paint and practice uh, mixing your colors so, um, you know, that you, you don't get stuck. If you don't have a color and you're like, oh, shoot, I can't paint that because I don't have that color. Well, sometimes you can just mix it. So, yeah. And saves you money, too. We're all into saving money, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Well, y'all have a wonderful evening. Thanks for jumping on here. You guys are great. Uh, get on out there to the, the website and rbykarenwolf.com and grab you a tutorial and paint it or um, sign up for an in-studio local party, and I'd be glad to have you. So, y'all take care and have a wonderful evening. Yes, that's right, Tammy. That is absolutely right. Y'all have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you back on here next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.